Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor and I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you how to restrict a status change based on a supporting business object field. In this example, we will be looking at the specifics field notes, shown here as additional details, and make a require to move an incident to in progress. So an effective way to prevent a change of status is to set the required for state change based on life cycle, which is located within the properties. The problem, however, is that the field that we are interested in making required is not part of the incident business object. There is a clever way around this limitation in which we will make a field auto-populate based on whether the specifics field is empty or not and make it required for state change. To get started, go to your orange client and the business object editor, and we're going to add a new field. and set it as illogical, and navigate to the field properties. Validation auto-populate, select auto-populate, and select specifics. So when you go to the specifics field, you'll see that the notes that we are interested, are interested in are not present, and that is because the business object has a relationship to the specifics group header and not any of its children. So we're going to fix that. We're going to cancel out of this and go to relationships update the blueprint and we're going to create a new relationship specifics generic is where the field that we are interested in is housed just accept all the defaults and finish so now that we've done that go back to the business object editor Navigate back down to our field, select field properties, validation auto population, auto populate, and we now have access to specifics generic. So after selecting that, we can access the notes. So whenever there is a change in the specifics generic notes, we can populate it with a value. So we are going to have it populate with an expression and the editor and create a new expression. So here we are going to create a case statement. So what we want is that if the specifics generic notes is not empty, in, in this case, now we have access to all the fields. We can just use the, the, regular, uh, um, the regular notes. Notes. not empty. In this case, if it's not empty, we are going to want to set it to true. So this is a logical field, so we need to return a logical value. So we can't just type in true. I go to stored values, and I've already set this up. Um, this will be a stored value, which is a logical, and it is true. So we have that, and the default is empty. Select OK, OK, and now we should have that auto populated to true. So the next phase is to go to properties and make required for state change based on life cycle. So by a default, it is set to never required for state change. And if we were to go to in progress, we would find that this is not able to be edited. So the way to get around this is go to, sorry, go to defaults. And select always required for state change. Go to in progress. Go back to default and select never required for state change. And now it should have selected our properties. So in almost in every other status that we go to, it'll still be required for state, never be required for state change. But if we go to in progress, it is. So fantastic. All right, we select OK, and we publish our blueprint. After publishing that, move back to your blue client and reload definitions.
After the definition has been reloaded, we will go ahead and create a new incident. Filling out all the required fields. We will save and let's see how we did. So we will attempt to move the status ahead without entering in any additional details. We can work. And as you can see, the field incident specifics notes must be filled in before the incident state can be changed in progress. So we'll close that. It'll revert it to its previous state. And we'll go here and we'll enter in some additional details. We will save, and then once again, move the status to in progress. And we have success. And that is how you control, can control the status lifecycle from a supporting business object. I hope you found this enjoyable and look forward to seeing you next time.